The Alienware X17 and X15 range of laptops are of the few gaming laptops that actually have Intel's RAID array options. Now I've always been asked, is the RAID option worth it? And how do you make or break the actual RAID arrays? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the SSDs, how to make or break the RAID arrays, show you just how well it actually performs to help you decide if creating a RAID array on your Alienware is right for you. But first, a message from our sponsor. And today's video sponsor is Hookies, who have just started their Black Friday sale. I've just bought Windows 10 Pro for just under $17 with a discount code of 25% that Hookies have provided us. Just pop in Windows 10 Pro in your basket and at the order confirmation stage, apply the code M25 to get the reduced price of $16.91. Once you've completed the checkout, you will be provided the key within minutes. Activating Windows 10 is a breeze. Just open up the control panel, click on the system, and then scroll down to see the option to change your product key. You insert your new Windows 10 key and you click activate. That's it. You now have an activated Windows 10 Pro. And don't forget, you can easily upgrade it to Windows 11 through Windows Updates, or you could just buy the Windows 11 direct from Who Keys if you wish. You can also pick yourself up a copy of Office 2021 for a mere $59 or £42 using that same M25 code. And also check out the other Black Friday deals such as 10% off physical items. Make sure you see the links in the description below. And now back to the video. So to get things started, this is my X17R2, it's the 4K model. Now I bought this with the basic 512 gigabyte SSD. Now it's not a bad SSD. Dell do supply Gen 4 with all the Alienware X series range. And this has got good read speeds of 6,000 megabytes a second, but very average write speeds at about 3,500 megabytes per second. So I did already upgrade this SSD myself with an SN850 SSD, which is much, much faster. And it's been great for me during my time using this laptop. But because I didn't want to destroy all the data on my own personal system, so I've bought myself two Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabyte M.2 SSD drives. Now these are a great price on Amazon for the Black Friday week at the moment. I will put the link in the description down below just in case you want to pick yourself some up. But these were good performance, reasonably priced, and will be great to test our RAID array. Now installing the SSD drives on this Alienware is incredibly easy. You just undo the screws on the base plate. The front of the base plate does slightly pop away from the machine, allowing you to lift it away from this X17R2 and exposes the whole bottom of the laptop. Now you can see I have my 512 gigabyte installed in place with a heatsink over the top. First things first, we're gonna quickly unplug the battery before we do any work. I'm gonna quickly remove that SSD and part the heatsink away from the SSD because we're gonna to need to reuse that heatsink for our new SSD. Now if you're lucky, you may well have two SSDs supplied by Dell, but if you haven't, contact Dell. You'll probably be able to buy or get hold of a second heatsink plate for your second drive. Or if not, you can pick up the cheap heatsink plates from Amazon and I will put a link in the description below. So now we've removed the original drive, I'm gonna install the two 980 Pro drives from Samsung and put the two heatsinks that I've got on top of these drives and screw them down. Now because we're using this as a RAID array, get yourself two of the same SSD drives. Don't try and mix and match, that's gonna ruin your performance. And now that we've installed the drives, we're gonna pop the battery cable back into place we're gonna put the base panel back on the laptop, screw it down, and then we're gonna power it back up. Now on first boot, because we've unplugged the battery and plugged it back in, it's gonna tell us the real-time clock is out of date on this laptop. And that's fine, ignore that, but we are gonna click go into BIOS option from that menu to take us into the BIOS to start to create our RAID array. So now that we're within BIOS, we go to the advanced menu and we scroll right to the very bottom. Select the Intel Rapid Storage Technology option, and from within there, we're gonna set up our RAID array. Now we have a choice of mirrored or striped arrays. If you choose the mirror, basically it will take your two drives and it copies the data to both of those drives. So because I've got two two terabytes in here, that would mean I'd only have two terabytes showing to the system. And as I do any work on the machine, it's copied to both of the drives. The advantage of that is if one of the drives dies, the second one has all of the data on it so you haven't lost anything. So a lot of businesses will use a mirrored type of array for data redundancy. Because we're gonna be gaming and we're not so bothered on the whole, I would imagine, we are gonna to want to use a striped array. Now a striped array takes our two two terabytes and creates a four terabyte size drive on the machine and it spreads all of the data across both of the drives. Now the advantage of that is gonna be increased performance, but the disadvantage is one of the drive dies, we lose all of that data. So now that we've chosen the actual striped array, we see that our two disks in the list, you check both of the disks and then you create the array. 
So now we've created the array, we're gonna save BIOS, come out and do our normal Windows install as normal. Now because these are two new drives, there's obviously no Windows installation. So we're gonna use our Windows ISO flash drive and install Windows. But in order to do that, because we're using a RAID array, we do need a special Intel driver so that the system understands it's a RAID partition that we're installing Windows onto. So you're gonna to need to go to Dell's website into the support section and download the Intel rapid storage drivers. I will put a link in the description down below. Once you've downloaded those drivers, you extract them to the Windows ISO drive where you've got your Windows installation and make sure you copy out the F6 folder to the root of the drive to make it easy for you to find the drivers. Now carry on with the Windows installation as normal, but when you get to the section where you choose your actual SSD to install Windows on, there'll be nothing showing. That's because it doesn't know yet about the drivers. We choose the load drivers at the bottom, we select browse, we browse to our Windows 11 USB stick to the F6 folder, and we then select that, it will find the Intel rapid storage drivers for the RAID arrays. You click that, it installs the driver, and all of a sudden, your RAID partition will now appear. From here, you can install Windows 11 as you normally would. So once Windows 11's gone through its install process and you're in with your nice shiny new four terabyte RAID array, which is actually about 3.6 after it's been formatted as always. First things first, go to Windows Update and download the updates and drivers. You'll find that by just by doing this, you'll have the majority of your Dell drivers on the system. After this is complete, you just need to go to the Dell support page just to get your Alienware command center. So here I am with a fresh install of Windows 11, and you can see that my Intel RAID array is showing in Device Manager. You can see I've got 3.58 gigabyte free after my Windows 11 installation, and I've just completed a run of Crystal Disk Mark just to show you how fast this RAID array is. Now when I started running this benchmark, I wasn't expecting much. When I had it on the M15R4, which came with stock Dell SSDs, I got really disappointing results, and I've been basically saying, don't bother with the Dell RAID, it's rubbish. So instantly, when running this Crystal Benchmark, I nearly spat my tea across the room. I got a read speed of just under 13,000 megabytes per second, and a write speed of just over 8,000 megabytes per second. That's incredible, and these aren't even the highest spec drives you can buy. So that's incredibly fast, but are you gonna notice this in day-to-day -day use of this laptop? And I have to be honest, you probably won't notice it a lot. Yes, levels will load faster when you're loading up games, applications will probably load up a little bit faster, but you're always going to be limited by what you're actually doing with your machine. So if you're copying to a NAS or from a NAS or an external hard drive, you're always limited by that external drive. So not every use case is gonna benefit from this. But with it being so fast at no cost other than buying the SSDs, it feels completely worth it to me. I'm not so bothered about the data redundancy because I use this mostly for gaming and I do back up any work that I put on this machine. And having a machine this fast, it feels a shame not getting the most out of the SSDs when we do the RAM, the processor and the graphics card. Plus, I always love being the first one to load into a game so I can sit in the lobby and laugh at everyone else coming in after me. But are there any downsides to going to this striped array? Well, there are a couple. Now, firstly, as I mentioned earlier, if one of the drives does die, you will lose all of the data on both of these drives. And secondly, if you decide you want to upgrade the SSDs in the future, you're gonna to have to destroy this array and create a brand new array with your two new drives. But as long as you understand that and you're good at backing up your data, this shouldn't really be an issue. Well, I hope this video has been useful to you. And as always, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Would you consider creating a RAID array on your Alienware? Do you think it's worth it to get an extra speed for the cost of buying yourself two new SSDs? Pop it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thank you for watching.